Hi, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot. I'm going to show you today a deck. This was sent to me by a dear old friend, George, who um, haunts the flea markets and finds wonderful things. And while this is not strictly to my taste, I'm thrilled that he sent it to me. He sent me a couple of decks that I'll review. This is the Motherpiece Round Tarot deck. And I should say right up front, I'm happy to receive any deck sent to me for review, but I will be completely frank and forward about my feelings on the deck. And these are my feelings. This may, might be a deck you love, even if it's not to my taste or liking. This is a vintage deck. Uh, Mother Piece Round Tarot Deck by Karen Vogel and Vicki Noble uh, from U.S. Game Systems. I don't see a date on here, but I think it was sometime in the 70s or early 80s. It's a top box with a little inner box with a flap or something. It's kind of curious. There is a little white book, which is sort of on the large side. Uh, the copyright is 1981-1983. So early 80s, I guess, this came out. First edition was self-published in Berkeley on Lamas Day in 81. Current edition, uh, I guess, is from 83. Uh, and um, these are, this is the back design. These are round cards. So this has several things working against it for me. One is the size of the cards, which are larger than your average tarot. Not quite as tall, but wider. Secondly, they're round. I'm not really drawn to round cards. Uh, I don't do reversals, and with round cards you have an infinite, infinite number of degrees of direction on the cards. Because they're round, they tend to spin and turn. I tried to go through and sort of orient them all for showing to you, but um, they will slip and slide and readjust. There's a little biography card here. I'm also not particularly fond of this art style. It's very unique, and there are copyrights very prominently displayed on each of the cards. Here's a... Um, sort of a prayer or a poem or a, I guess it's a poem by Starhawk about charge of the star goddess. This is a female centric deck. I'm not even sure if there are any males in it. Uh, and the um, the order is a little different in the minors. Just let me start showing them to you. There's the fool. Very unique artwork. Interesting palette. Um, I got this ring light, but sometimes it feels like it's better without. So there's a guy, I think. Uh, 
Hierophant. Lovers. Chariot. Justice. Crow. Crone. Oh, that would be C9. I guess that's the Hermit, is a crone. Wheel of Fortune. Eleven is Strength. The Hanged One. Death. Temperance. Devil. Tower. Star. It's a nice star card. Moon, Sun, Judgment, and the World. Then we go into our Wands, Ace of Wands. Four. Five. There's a lot of nudity in this deck, if you hadn't noticed already, and I guess I should warn you if that bothers you. But hey, you know. If you're do, dealing in tarot, you're, you're an adult, and if you're at this site, there's a, um, an adult-only warning, I believe, on my channel, so, you know, it shouldn't be an issue for you, I hope. If it does, bail out now, or you should have bailed out a few cards ago. So now, uh, let's see, that was the 10. Now we have a different, instead of uh, page, knight, queen, king, we've got daughter, then son, priestess, and shaman. Daughter, Son, Priestess, and Shaman. Now we have Ace of Swords. Two. Three. Interesting. Four. The Pyramid and, and uh, the, um, what am I thinking of? different color energy oh geez I'm blanking out on the word the auras the uh, chakras <laughs> Whew. five six seven Daughter of Swords, 
Son of Swords. Priestess of Swords. And Shaman of Swords. The artwork has a very unique voice and perspective. Not for everyone, not to everyone's tastes. Uh, some might find it a, a little bit crude. It has a very raw energy to it. Um, a very special feel for a very special audience, I think. We have our coins or discs, they're called here. Ten of discs, and we have the, oh, these are out of order. Actually, I'm not sure if it's daughter-son or son-daughter. I don't know which order they come in, because this was used. Uh, let me just jump to the book quick and see what they say. Okay, it's uh, daughter, earth, air, sun, air, air, priestess, water, air, and shaman, fire, air. Oh, wait, that's in the swords. I guess each suit has its own element uh, combination. Yeah. Cups is daughter, earth water, sun, air water, priestess, water water, and shaman, fire water. Discs is uh, daughter, earth, earth, sun, air, earth, priestess, water, earth, shaman, fire, earth. And did I miss one? Swords, wands. Cups. I'm confused. I don't know which one I missed, but you get the idea. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. I think there are a few round decks out there. I don't own any. At one time, when I was much younger, I did have a round playing card deck, which I've long misplaced. find them easy to handle and also because of the size of these cards I'd imagine you'd need quite a large table to accommodate any kind of spread daughter son of cups priestess And shaman. Oh, I can't even imagine how this will be to handle, I mean, to shuffle. I think I'd have trouble because they're hard to get hold of to begin with. And then the fact that they're round makes them want to tend to roll out of your hands and 
under the floor and under the furniture. But these may have great aesthetic appeal for some of you out there. I don't want to discourage anyone, even if they're not up my alley. Again, I want to thank George for sending these to me. And that is the mother piece round tarot. I think this might still be in print, but I think the edition looks different now. This is a uh, second edition or early edition. Okay, till next time. Thanks and bye.